Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Friday, February 24th, 2023. These trades were shared by MH, who is trading on this chart, the DAX, CFD, and you're looking at one minute trading chart. Uh, the market is in macro structural downtrend, and we can see that breakout happened at this point and that provided opportunity for short positions and here he entered one position he short and stopped out and another position was open here that was trailed and also two positions was open when this pullback provided opportunity to add to the positions and both positions also were closed with very good profit also mh traded nasdaq cfd and again the market is in downtrend based on macro and structural chart and you can see that in one minute trading chart he entered several positions one position here and another two positions at this point and all these positions uh, for this channel you can see entry points here and these positions were close at here and in this point with maximum profit also this one was trailed and after the buyers came back he closed this one also with profit so thank you mh for sharing your trades with us the next few trades were shared by sam or global instructor from australia who's trading here the pound usd as you see the macro chart uh, is in downtrend this is four hour trading chart so uh, this is a swing trading style that you can see the price action works very well also independent of the time frames you can use a structural chart such as one hour to find the entry points then the pullback seems completed you can see the exit points uh, which is also as you see close to the dynamic support area and that is also a static area of the price that previously got rejected and here you see the trading chart that is a smaller and seems it's 30 minute and used to pinpoint the entry and exit points properly. Also, we have another trade on Forex pairs of AUD New Zealand dollar. And you can see that this downtrend channel here on the macro was traded using this structural chart of uh, one hour and the trading chart. And you see entry point here and exit point also at this level that is also close to the previous level of support and this is 30 minute trading chart for better entry and exits based on algo one to five so thank you sam for sharing your trades with us the next trade was shared by castro our global instructor who's trading dow jones industrial average uh, here you see the futures contract traded the macro was in downtrend with the structural chart and we see here the entry when the price shows lower high uh, and the pullback got completed he entered at this point here uh, with very tight stop loss and now the stop loss was trailed to protect the profit and now we see the live trade that just reached the target so thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us the next few trades are those I have taken after coming back from a trip uh, at the end of market I saw opportunity to trade so I sent the video yesterday to students with explanation and I'm replaying the video for you hello everyone I'd like to share with you a few trades that I have taken on Friday 24th of February 2023 uh, these trades were taken at the end of New York market session uh, on macro Nasdaq and Nasdaq futures uh, as you see uh, i've been traveling yesterday so i had no trades but uh, it went down market yesterday and uh, also today looks like it went all the way down and tested a level that was uh, around 12,000 on nasdaq and this is the area we see previous resistance and support around uh, months of november and also december of last year and now market fall this much and it passed previously low constantly so it's in downtrend and now uh, close to the end of market today uh, when i came back to check 
the charts it's already tested this level and went as low as uh, 11,930 and got rejected and we see point of control around 11,970 and these few candles that are going up uh, I took a long positions and traded for a few minutes so you see the position levels and these were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex trading account and the result is shown here the average profit factor was 99 which is infinite because it cannot calculate properly when the win rate uh, is 100 percent and it's all long positions and the average winning uh, trades were about 50 dollars and so it cannot also calculate the average win to loss ratio and we had no drawdown so hope these trades taken by the pad system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day